Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial and this tutorial is about this mochila and this pattern. So the bottom pattern, if you want, you can find it on my Instagram, but you can also follow the collab that I'm doing with another channel, which is the tapestry channel. And you can just find it over there or you just follow me on Instagram. I am going to do this mochila and I'm going to show you the bottom of this mochila, the pattern, until up to here. So I'm going to do this pattern for you. Then after that, you just have the repetition of this pattern. You can just uh, do your own colors if you want. The side pattern I repeat three times, as you can see. And then I did the holes for the cord and also the crab stitch over here. So for all these things, I have a tutorial apart. Later on, I will post a tutorial about the holes, about the crab stitch, all the details that I did to finish up this mochila. So, if you are interested on in doing this mochila, stay tuned. Check my Instagram if you want the bottom pattern or check uh, the other channel, as I told you. If you want to uh, see the pattern of the side, just uh, continue watching this video. And then for the other steps of making a mochila, I am going to post uh, all of them one by one. So you can finish up this uh, beautiful mochila. So if you are new to my channel, I hope you are considering to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you are not new to my channel, thank you for watching and following me. You can also check my Etsy shop for patterns and so. And with all these things being said, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the bottom part. And now we are going to start the pattern for the side part. So I will give you the pattern for sections and this is one section for me and all the others are just the repetition of this pattern. You just change the color. The pattern for me starts before the sign. So the pattern will be three beige, three dark blue. And because now we are doing the side pattern, we are not going to do any more increases. So the bag will start to build up this way. Okay, so the pattern is three beige, three dark blue. Here I will take out the sign. Now the pattern will be two beige, five dark blue. in a while at the back if you have ruffles with other colors no let's continue the pattern the pattern will be two beige and then we just repeat the same pattern that we did on this side five dark blue Three dark blue, now I want to see if I have any ruffles at the back, if I have any colors that are piled up, I don't have any, but for uh, to be sure I will just pull a little bit the other colors. And now I will turn like this. I will work a little bit the stitches. I want to put them in the right place. So you have to <laughs> kind of massage them. This is the beginning for me. Now we are going to continue. If you see, we already have the like the L shape. So it's building up. So now we are going to continue the pattern for the next section. And it's the same, just that we are going to change the colors. In this case, we are going to work with the royal blue and the beige. And the pattern is just going to be the same pattern that we did here. At the next section, we have change of colors. So we are going to work with beige and this greenish blue. And you just do 
this pattern all around okay so this is the pattern for the first round once we are finished that we will meet and i will tell you the pattern for the second round okay guys finished all the pattern all around and now i am going to start around number two the pattern for round number two is going to be three beige two dark blue two beige Four dark blue, six beige, four dark blue. for one section in here I will just start the pattern again or the repetition of this pattern so three beige two um, royal blue in this case I will just change the color on each section you change the color at the back I will check if I have any ruffles any line that is wrong there I will I will pull a little bit the yarns that I didn't work with and I will just put it down and Put the stitches in the right place okay so i will finish all the other sections and i will meet you at the beginning of the pattern now i will start around number three the pattern will be three beige one dark blue two beige four dark blue, two beige, one dark blue. Now we will have two beige, one dark blue, two beige. dark blue, two beige, one dark blue. This is the pattern and this pattern we are going to repeat for all the other sections for another seven time, right? Because we have eight increases. Okay, now we are going to start round number four. Round number four, we are going to have five beige, four dark blue. the pattern will follow two beige two dark blue two beige two dark blue and again two beige so we will have three times two beige and two times two dark blue and now the pattern will be four dark blue and two beige this is the pattern for round number four you just repeat this pattern again and again another seven times just changing the color i will meet you once we start round number five now we will start round number five and the pattern for round number five will be four gray four dark blue two beige three dark blue two beige three dark blue two beige next we will have four dark blue one beige okay so this is the pattern for round number five just repeat this pattern another seven times but changing the color the pattern for round number six is going to be three beige four dark blue 
and then we'll continue two beige four dark blue two beige four dark blue okay so the pattern will continue two beige four dark blue okay so this is one section the pattern for one section and you just repeat this pattern uh, seven more times of course with the different color finish round number six and now we'll start the pattern for round number seven the pattern is like this three beige three dark blue now the pattern will follow two beige five dark blue two beige next the pattern will follow five dark blue two beige three dark blue okay so this is the pattern for round number seven we will repeat this pattern another seven times but with different colors finish round number seven now we will start the pattern for round number eight the pattern is like this three beige three dark blue and then the pattern will follow one beige four dark blue and then we have six beige and then the pattern will be repeated again four dark blue one beige three dark blue and this pattern we will repeat again seven more times but of course changing the color okay finished round number eight and we will start around number nine the pattern for round number nine is like this three beige seven dark blue now the pattern will follow like this two beige one dark blue two beige okay so the pattern will follow one dark blue two beige seven dark blue okay so this is the pattern for round number nine we will repeat this pattern another seven times of course with the changing of the colors round number 10 three beige six dark blue we will follow two beige two dark blue two beige and then we have two dark blue two beige six dark blue this is the pattern for one section and we will repeat this pattern seven more times of course changing the colors round will... number 10 and now we will start the pattern for round number 11 the pattern will be three beige six dark blue so the pattern will follow one beige three dark blue two beige and then we will have three dark blue one beige six dark blue okay so this is the pattern for round 11 and we will uh, repeat that seven more times so round 11 and now we will start the pattern for round 12 the pattern will be three beige ten dark blue now the pattern will follow two beige ten dark blue we will repeat this pattern seven more times finished round 12 now we will start round 13 the pattern for round 13 it will be three beige stitches eight dark blue and now the pattern will follow six beige stitches eight dark blue okay so this pattern we will uh, repeat another seven times finished round 13 and now we will start the pattern for round 14 the pattern will be three beige seven dark blue and now the pattern will follow two beige one white two beige so if you see now i'm starting to work with my next uh, color so the color that i'm going to work for the next upper flower is the previous one so here i will start to work with the white and here i will start to work with a dark blue and so on just work with your previous color Okay, so the pattern will follow one white, two beige, seven dark blue. Okay, so this pattern we will repeat another seven times. Of course, here we are going to work with royal blue and the introducing color here will be uh, dark blue. The next one is going to be this kind of blue, like um, ocean blue. And then the introducing color will be the um, royal blue. And at the white one, the introducing color will be the um, ocean blue, right? So you just uh, keep doing this pattern another seven times. Finished round 14 and now we will start round 15. The pattern for round 15 will be three beige, six dark blue, two beige, two white, two beige. Now the pattern will be two white, two beige, six dark blue. And we will repeat this pattern seven more times. Finished round 15 and now we will start the pattern for round 16. The pattern will be like this. Three beige, five dark blue. Next we will have two beige, three white, two beige. Now the pattern will follow. Three white, two beige, five dark blue. Okay, so this is going to be the pattern for the next seven uh, sections. Okay, so we will repeat this pattern uh, seven more times. And okay, guys, here is the finished uh, round 16. Now I will start the pattern for round 17, which is the last round 
for this pattern and then I can just repeat the 17 rows and I will have the same pattern over and over again. So let's start. The pattern for the 17th round will be 3 beige stitches, 4 dark blue. And then the pattern will follow 2 beige stitches, 4 white stitches, 2 beige stitches. Another pattern will follow 4 white stitches, 2 beige stitches, 4 dark blue stitches. Okay, so this is the pattern for the 17th round and you will repeat this pattern 7 more times, of course with different colors. As I told you, this is the whole pattern for the side. And then you can just repeat this pattern over and over again, depends on how many times you want to repeat uh, the flower here. So I will finish round 17 and then I will finish the body of this bag and then I will show you how it uh, all came together. Okay guys, just a quick update. I finished uh, the whole crocheting part of the side pattern and I'm not gonna repeat it more than three times. As you can see, as I told you, you just go with the previous color. So if it was white and the next one is gonna be um, ocean blue and then the next one uh, you see here is um, royal blue, so you work here and then if you go higher, you just go with the next color which is going to be uh, the dark blue, okay? But I'm not gonna. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the holes for the cord, okay? So I will show you step by step how I'm going to do that for this bag. Mm -hmm. 